everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting here again. Today I would like to share with you uh, some idea which came from my trying. The other day I received the beautiful comment from Mary Craig. I hope I'm pronouncing the, the name right way. So Mary Craig uh, made a beautiful comment on the, one of my videos and she also asked the question. She asked me... Uh, how I would color with inks or with something large spaces to make even evenly coated uh, full size color. But, but I hope my explanation is not confusing. Uh, to color some big space, maybe file folder with colors can be tricky. And sometimes we didn't have to get fully coated and nicely coated background. <laughs> So, I tried few techniques. What I like the most is to use full pad, full ink pad, but not totally brand new one. I like to use uh, older inks, which are kind of halfway dry, <laughs> if that makes sense. And with full ink pad, with circle motion, kind of apply the ink. But it doesn't have to work all the time. Even this coating can give you not evenly coated, not evenly colored background. So I tried a few other techniques. I tried paintings. And while my trying, I tried to have a look into my home. What kind of tool I can use for fully coating or fully coloring background. And while my <laughs> discovering one, one thing... <laughs> Which is my baking tray, <laughs> silicone baking tray. And this one I'm not gonna use for baking anymore because I decided this will be my craft tool. I already cut at the corners. Usually this baking tray has this uh, like full, uh, full side panel or I'm not sure how to say that. I cut at these corners to make sure I can flip it over and use this back side, which is not... Uh, this glossy one. This is more like matte one and I'm gonna show you why. I use this baking tray for trying to spread my inks and spread acrylic colors and spread any kind of painting I do have here and transfer them to that uh, to the paper. When I coat it with the inks with the acrylic, acrylic paint this glossy glossy side of my baking tray it gave me it gave me backgrounds with so many drops like this because that coated that glossy coated side it's kind of like separated separating your inks and your paintings to drops i'm not sure the right english word for that for, for that effect but it makes beautiful drops so if you want to achieve uh, drops in your background like this this glossy side of baking tray it's perfect for that if you want to have more this coating which is nice and smooth that opposite side this matte side of baking tray it's such a perfect tool for craft and i also tried the techniques which is usually used for uh, how you call them jelly J jelly plates i think it's called jelly plates so i tried the technique here and look at that <laughs> i did my jelly plates with my baking tray so today i'm just gonna quickly show you what i did on my on my baking tray i do have here two inks and i'm gonna show you both sides first i'm gonna show you this glossy side this is by the way one of the cheapest baking trays and it's size for a4 size paper for printer size paper here i do have just 80 gsm papers just for this trying and my paper can fit there nearly all it's it's nice and beautiful size of that baking tray i'm gonna be using these two inks from a spectrum noir this blue one and brown one uh, this is ocean blue and this is friar brown friar brown friar brown so i'm gonna be using this i'm gonna be using brayer 
and first I'm gonna show you on this glossy side and then I will show you also on that matte side and both of them I'm gonna do exactly the same way first I'm gonna spread the separate inks and then I'm gonna try to mix them and I'm gonna place my paper on that okay my hands on that as well <laughs> And then to show you. So here you can see those little drops and that spreading of the ink. So more precise you will be with the spreading the ink with your brayer. More carefully you will coat the background. The better colors you will get. I do have left over of that ink on my brayer. So I'm going to place there the back of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, my <laughs> crazy tool. I had this glass, uh, glossy bottle, <coughs> which I had empty. So I wrap it just with a piece of, piece of cloth. And I'm using it here and there where I don't want to get too much colors on my finger so I'm using this one <laughs> you know till I will buy some tool for that and this is very soft coated background so I'm gonna flip it over do exactly same on this matte side first I need to clean my brayer so I'm gonna add here Brown ink, blue ink, and again, first I'm gonna spread those ink separately ish, and then just go. All around, I'm gonna take one clear sheet of paper. And show you. Where is the first one? So hopefully you will see that on this uh, this paper which is from mud side you have slightly softer or smooth layer of the color there are no these little bubbles that much like are on this uh, from glossy side so it depends on the effect you wanna get use the sides of the baking tray and uh, I'm gonna also show you <laughs> how I did that stamping it's so much fun I think I will buy that jelly uh, jelly plate <laughs> because if that works better way than here but it it works really beautiful way on this uh, baking tray so I'm <laughs> not sure if I have to buy jelly plates I just wanted to try, you know, and I'm not good in kitchen, so <laughs> I don't mind that much that I uh, ruin our baking tray. And we do have two another ones. So it's not a big deal. And they did cost only two pounds. I'm gonna grab some stamps. And I think I'm very lazy to try to, to do some uh, layers, so I'm gonna use just full, uh, full sheet of these stamps from Tim Holtz because they, they are right next to me. And I'm gonna use my beautiful tool for pressing. 
kind of softly press my stamps and I'm gonna use the other ones as well and place them right next to it and softly press these stamps here clear sheet of paper place it over it and I think that will be enough look at that and I do have my stamps I can take another clear sheet of I'm gonna <clears throat> use that brayer and just add here the leftover what I do have on my brayer I'm gonna place there my sheet of paper so the colors should be very soft really very soft colors yeah I do have kind of crazy colors I can also spray a little bit that baking tray put my paper back with this, these soft colors and catch any kind of leftovers I had there so I do have really beautiful crazy background and I can also I'm gonna take a new sheet of paper and I can also use the stamps and transfer any kind of ink I got on my stamps my paper so that way I will create more background papers which I can use later on for my projects and if I will take back my beautiful baking tray I can easily clean all colors because it's silicone so just very easy way so this time I'm gonna take just blue ink and I'm gonna grab my brayer just to make sure there is not um, brown ink some brown ink like left over I'm gonna wipe it to my cloth gonna use this these stamps I think I'm just gonna make a better layer here and I can place them there here I can continue one more time and I do have uh, like uh, coffee stains stamps so I can add there some coffee stain stamps
and I'm gonna just very softly just a few drops nothing too much just really few drops place there that paper And I should be careful with my drops, but I do <laughs> very soft, very soft background. Now I need to let it dry. And if I will spray this all. And if I will spray it. What will happen? Oh, I'm wondering. Oh, I do have these splatters. Okay. So I do have brown ink now and what I did last time with this I did stamped into that blue ink so I'm wondering if that will transfer we're gonna try It looks like it did transfer the blue ink we will see just bear with me I've got here these stamps just gonna finish this side oh come on clear paper and we will see well oh, look at that it did transfer blue color well done oh, oh. so this way you can do actually something similar like is jelly print uh, it's so much fun <laughs> if you will try to find some bigger uh, silicone mat it doesn't have to be silicone tray it, it it will be perfect I do believe it will be perfectly working also with silicone mat something what is made from silicone and it does have this mat size or if you are going for the drop uh, drop drop look drops look uh, just use some some silicone mat with this glossy side and i do believe it will work amazingly well so i'm gonna continue my uh, tryings all these transferring inks and all that stuff i'm gonna have a fun here and i hope this will help to anyone who will try to apply the ink to large backgrounds and uh, to try to coat it evenly as I said I think if you will be um, you know patient and you will try to make a nice even coat with the brayer on some silicone mat or silicone tray this way some larger pieces can be colored so one more piece
look at that beautiful color and if I will be really careful I can have nice even coat on all that paper and if I will add there more the color will be more vibrant so this is my sharing for today this is my a little experiment with kitchen <laughs> supplies I do love to dig in my home for uh, any kind of you know supplies uh, which I can use in my craft especially when it's in kitchen and I don't have to cook with that later so this is my sharing for today i hope this was helpful hopefully it will give you idea uh, what to do next in your craft session enjoy your craft have a fun uh, and thank you so much for watching thank you so much for spending your time with me today have a beautiful day take care about yourself and i will see you soon bye